Hi everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY fleece cloth diaper cover. You can get ones from the dollar store, which is what I am using. I am doing the flats and hand washing challenge this week and I will have the other videos linked down below if you'd like to learn more about the flats or and hand washing challenge or follow along. But for the sake of this video, this is going to be showing you how I make the covers. Now you can use any type of fleece. Fleece blankets are really easy. You can buy them at Walmart, the dollar store, all the supplies I'm using this week for the challenge are from the dollar store. So this is a dollar store blanket. But you can also get ones at Walmart for like $4 that are a lot bigger. This one is 30 by 30 inches. And this cover that I'm showing you should fit babies kind of equivalent to a one size cloth diaper, which typically fit babies from about eight to 30 pounds. And so this is definitely not a newborn cover. Um, a couple more things about fleece. Like I said, you can use pretty much any fleece. You can also go to the craft store and buy inexpensive fleece. You can buy blizzard fleece, polar fleece, pretty much any type of fleece. Micro fleece doesn't work very well. It's, micro fleece is very porous and it actually a lot of people use it as cloth diaper liners and so I would not use micro fleece but any other type of fleece should work. Also fleece is not 100% waterproof. Eventually it will leak but it does have water repelling properties and so it does work as a cloth diaper cover. You might think you know fleece how is that going to work but if you have ever gotten water on fleece sometimes you'll see it bead and roll down and that is because it repels water. Um, some fleeces do better than others but these dollar store blankets actually work really well. Another thing is that when you cut the fleece fleece actually doesn't fray so you don't have to worry about sewing and so these are no sew DIY fleece covers so that is amazing especially if you don't have access to a sewing machine they're not going to fray and get ruined uh, they might stretch out a little bit but they're not going to fray so with all that said I'm going to show you how to make this one size diaper cover and this one I have here just to kind of show you the size of the one that I have. Now what I do is I fold it down, um, excuse my hair there, but I fold it down when I put it on my baby and also I'm sure it looks enormous. One thing you have to keep in mind is that a diaper that has elastic in it is all squinched up. And so it, you know, has all that elastic in it, which makes it much, much, much smaller. In all of these areas where the elastic would be, the diaper, you know, squinches, that's not really a word, but, you know, gets much, much smaller. And so without the elastic, if you actually see a one size cloth diaper pattern, it's not quite this big, but it is way bigger than you would think. They're actually really big. I was really surprised the first time I saw a one size cloth diaper pattern just laid out. Okay, so what you're going to do is basically, you can do it one of two ways. You can either just eyeball it, which is kind of what I did, or you can kind of follow along and I will give you some approximate measurements. Uh, what I would do is I would fold it in half. And again, this piece I started with was 30 by 30 inches. So you definitely need a ruler if you are going to be cutting a piece out of a larger blanket and some scissors. And so just some good sharp scissors. They don't necessarily have to be sewing scissors. And you're just going to be cutting a half moon shape out. Now, I did make another video, a DIY um, fleece cover video years ago, and it did fantastic thousands of views on my channel. I will link it down below. So you can just basically eyeball it. One thing you want to remember is that the crotch width of a standard one size cloth diaper is about six inches, but you want extra so that you can tuck it in because if you leave exactly six inches 
in the crotch, you're not going to have any left over to kind of tuck in and you're not going to get as good of a fit and your baby is probably going to leak out of the cover. So I like to leave extra. I would do at least an inch or so extra on each side at least. If you see what I have here, uh, mine is actually like 14. So I have a ton extra. This is one of my wider crotch width ones that I made. I have a few other ones that are probably about, I don't know, about 10 or 11. And I feel like that is, that's really good because that, a 10 inch will give you two inches extra on each side, but this cover works just as well as the others. So it's, you know, completely your preference. And so you can either just kind of eyeball it and play around with it. Or for this cover, this is 30 inches long because I didn't cut any of the length off. But for a smaller baby, you can cut some off if you want, or you can leave it, like I said, and fold it. It's also 30 inches wide because I didn't cut any of the width off. Um, and then I went down approximately eight inches on the top and eight inches on the bottom and cut out a half moon shape that is about eight inches in. And so I started at about eight inches, cut in about eight inches and cut to the top and about eight inches from the top. So, okay, so I'll show you with this cover now. I will actually make one with you guys. So what you want to do is always make sure that you are cutting the diaper the right way. And so what you want to do is pull the diaper or the fleece and make sure that you are laying it down in front of you the stretchy way. So you want the stretchy side to be horizontal laid down in front of you. Usually the print will follow the correct way to cut the diaper, you know. Um, but if you see this way, the diaper, the fleece doesn't stretch. Um, it might stretch just a tiny bit, but you can tell a significant difference this way. The reason that's important is because what you're going to be doing is tying the diaper around baby. So you want to take advantage of that stretch to really pull those wings and tie it around baby. If you're trying to do it this way, it's not, it's not going to give and you're not going to be able to stretch it around baby and get a really good fit. So you want to take advantage of that stretchiness. So lay it down in front of you and I'm just going to fold mine in half. Like I said, I cut up about eight inches and I'm just going to kind of roughly eyeball this and I cut in, I wanted, let's see, so I wanted my crotch width to be about 10 or 11 inches. So that's about, when you divide that in half, about five and a half, about five and a half-ish. So that's about right here. And so then eight inches from the top is about right here. And so this is my half moon shape right here. So if you want to, you can use a marker, you know, Crayola markers work great. The wa the washable ones, I use them for sewing all the time. But cut right here. There we go. And voila. We have our diaper cover. And this is simple, simple, so easy. And I do have a video that I am putting up on uh, my channel and on Facebook showing how I put the diaper on my baby. I actually show start to finish how I put one of these on my baby. But like I said, folding it over really is beneficial in a lot of ways because you also get a little bit of extra material. So it kind of doubles up um, and just a little bit more protection against leaks like that. And then what I do is fold it up around baby. I actually tuck this around the insert a little bit and I fold this up around baby and you can either tuck it around baby's back and then pull these around and tie it 
or you can do it where you kind of leave these hanging. So these are around baby's back, tie these ones and then sit baby up and tie these ones around baby's back which I know sounds kind of confusing, but like I said, I do have another video, so if you'd like to watch that one, I should have that up probably tomorrow. If you're watching this in the future, then it should be linked down below. So yeah, that is a DIY $1 cloth diaper cover, and these actually work remarkably well. My baby is a heavy wetter, and he woke up this morning, and he had pooped. He also poops first thing in the morning. He had pooped and he's a heavy wetter and this was dry. The outside of the diaper was dry. Um, the inside was very wet. He was super wet um, and he was poopy, but we didn't have any leaks out the sides and we didn't have any leaks through the cover. And so cloth diapers do not have to cost $20 a piece, $30 a piece. They don't even have to cost $6 or $10 a piece you can make cloth diapers for literally $1 a piece. And so I hope that this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down too. That's fine. And I would love to have you subscribe if you would like to learn more about cloth diapering, watch reviews, you know, follow along with the flats and hand washing challenge. I'm super passionate about cloth diapering and I would love to share that with you. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, until tomorrow, Good night, goodbye, and stay blessed. One other quick thing I wanted to mention is that all of these half moon pieces that you cut out, you can use these, you can cut them into squares or just leave them how they are and use them as cloth wipes. Uh, so that is an ex excellent little thing that you could do with these little extra pieces so you're not having to waste them and you're actually getting something else out of them. Fleece wipes are actually really excellent wipes. So just another little hint with these scraps. Okay, thanks. Bye.